Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Okay, in today's video, we are going to be talking about IKEA items under $20, secret IKEA finds that I think are gorgeous and they're under 20 bucks. Now, I have done similar videos where I like, these are new ones for me. Like I think a lot of the ones that are on here are ones that I haven't talked about before. I will link at the end, I have a whole bunch of videos that you can go and connect with that I have other items that are also hot finds. So if you see something that you love at IKEA and it's not on the list, that's probably why. But these are just ones that I think are really great and a lot of them are really new to Ikea, so let's get going. Okay, so the first secret item that's under $20 is actually not even from Ikea, but it is actually free. Now, you guys know me, I'm always honest about what I think about things, arguably too honest. I don't play a lot of mobile games, but I know that you all do. And so therefore, I'm happy to share that the sponsor of today's video is going to be June's Journey. June's Journey takes place in the 1920s and you play the role of June and you're headed back home to New York to investigate the murder of your sister and her husband. What I like about the game is that it combines sort of hidden object mystery solving tasks while also doing some world building aspects like fixing up and decorating your mansion and your island. If you're ready to start playing June's Journey, download June's Journey for free by clicking the link below in the description or by scanning the QR code that is on your screen magically right now through the power of editing. Thank you for sponsoring this video, June's Journey. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. Okay, first up on my list is going to be the Have Tom. The Have Tom, and again, my always my disclaimer. I'm not pronouncing any of these correctly. Okay, I'm, I'm barely even trying at this point. Let's be honest, I'm not fluent. My Swedish is not great. Okay, it's not awesome. And the Swedes know that, which is why they don't care. And so um, let's get that out of the way before you get the keyboard warriors get down there in the comments saying I'm culturally insensitive. Okay, let's talk about the Half Tom. I think this is really super cute. This is about usually about five bucks or something. Like it's honestly so excessively priced. This is like an oil and vinegar sort of dispenser system thingy. It's this really nice brown glass. I was expecting it to be plastic at this price point, honestly, because that's what you'd probably find at Dollar Tree or something. But I love that it's glass and it's really cute. It's just a really simple shape. This is the type of stuff where Ikea is really strong. You can sort of mix in a lot of these Ikea pieces into your home. Now you might have some other things like you know, maybe got a butter dish, or maybe got a different dispenser, or maybe got a crock that's like a little bit not from Ikea to mix it in. But these sort of really simple objects that you just use every day, I think are just really perfect from Ikea and they're always gonna be a great price point and they're always gonna be quite beautiful. So I think this is a really cute design. I love the material choice here is with the brown glass and you can get a couple of these oil and vinegar, you're in business. Also, by the way, in addition to oil and vinegar, they also come with a salt and pepper grinder. So you could always just add that and boom, boom, you're in business. Now you got something else. Okay, next up is gonna be the Gladelig the Gladeleg. This is a really, really beautiful dish set. I will say, you know me, I'm loyal to Fable, okay? I'm loyal to Fable. I don't even try and deny it. I love Fable. I love their stuff. I think it's amazing. Link, discount code down in the description. I just love all their stuff. They're great with, I just, I just love them, okay? They've just got beautiful, gorgeous, hand, like hand-finished stoneware that I really enjoy. But Ikea, let's be honest, where they're obviously going to beat Fable, even though Fable's a really good price, is price point. This price point here is so good. This is now on sale for like eight 18 bucks for a four pack. How is that even possible? I don't even know how Ikea does it. Well, I know how it's possible. Scale, manufacturing, blah, blah, blah. That's how it's possible. But I love the design of this one because it's got this really interesting sort of detailing on the edge. It just kind of feels a little bit more interesting than the kind of basic Ikea 365 collection that they've had for a long time, which no shade to it because like I had it for many years as well before I did the Fable upgrade. But you know, like it, it's just a little boring, which Sometimes I'm of the opinion that I'm not sure that your dishware, like your your plain, uh, is, isn't your, your everyday stuff is supposed to be that exciting. But, you know, because kind of lets the food shine, you know, if you have something a little bit more basic. But I do love the detailing around the edge here and it is really cool. Even if you just wanted to pick up one of the serving platters or something, I think it's really awesome. Comes in a couple of different colorways, which is nice to see. You know, this little creamy color with the brown edge. They've got a blue option. Both are really cool. So you can find something that fits you. Just nice to see Ikea taking some of their basics and just elevating them a little bit. Next up here is the Ecoln, e -E which is just this adorable little soap dishy thing for like five bucks. This is just, you know, I'm just a big believer in the little tiny details matter in your home. And personally, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a minimalist. Depends on your definition. I will say that minimalists tend to just really edit very well. And I would say that that's something I try to do is edit. And I like to put things away and close doors and all the rest of it so that it's not all kind of in your face. And so to me, having uh, an edited, curated space also means that when the items you do put out should be stuff you really enjoy, right? I don't like having a bunch of junk that I just don't really like in my home. I like to just make sure that the stuff that I do have, I, I actually like. And so details matter. And I keep coming back to that because something like this soap dish here is just a small little detail, but it's cute and it's $5. So it's a great price point, but it's also a really cute little dish that I think would make sense for a lot of people. 
I personally am the liquid pump soap man myself, but you know, I think if you're a bar soap person, go for it. This is a really like cool little dish. And again, I like that you're, uh, personally, I'm a believer that your bathroom should have minimal stuff on it most of the time. Of course, things get out of hand and you leave the toothpaste, I get it, like whatever. But if you can put stuff away and just put the stuff that's there that you really enjoy, make sure it's something you like, something like this soap dish. So I think this is a cute little detail that would honestly make sense for a lot of people's bathrooms, assuming that you like bar soap. Now, I suppose you could use it for other things too, but you know, for me, this jumps out as a soap dish. So that's gonna be where I put it in, in terms of the category. But for Feel free to make it your own. You could make you use it for something else if you so choose. Okay, next up is the Vol Crossing. The Vol Crossing throws are, I feel like Ikea has really upped their throw game recently. This one here is about 20 bucks. It's gonna come in right at that price point. I think that there are some beautiful throws that are out there, but throws can get really expensive. Now, I'm not a fan of the Hermes throw. Overdone you know, whatever, fine. Let Meghan Markle have her throw. But for me, I'm just not really a big fan of the Hermes throw. I just think it's super overdone. It's like the Tom Ford book of throws, right? So I don't love it. I think there's a lot of places to get gorgeous throws that aren't gonna be insanely expensive. They're not gonna be hundreds of dollars. They might come in more like the 60 to maybe $120 sort of price point, I feel like is a pretty, pretty fancy throw. This one is gonna be on the budget end of the spectrum at like 20 bucks, but that's where Ikea shines, right? So, you know, yeah, Yes, there's some good mid to high end throws that I think are really awesome, but this one here is gonna come in at that $20 price point and does a really great job. It's honestly, it's quite neutral, it's really comfy, it's just that little bit of crinkly sort of lived in, do you know what I mean? Where it's not gonna feel really thin and flimsy. It's not gonna be one of those like felt throws that Ikea has that I'm personally not a big fan of because I just think felt as a material isn't a super awesome choice for the living room. This one though, I think is really, really cute and at a great price point too. I actually have one similar. I'm just gonna grab it because it's right here. Other option, this one here is super, super cool. I'm gonna tag it as well. I got this one at H&M Home and this one's also really gorgeous. This, they always have this one. This is like one of their classic throws at H&M. I think the Ikea one's similar, but the Ikea one's gonna be cheap. But that's honestly not that expensive either. See, you get an Ikea video with me and I just end up rambling and giving you other suggestions as well. Okay, next up is the Brun Bar. The Brun, Brun Bar, Brun Bar. Okay, so I told you I wasn't even really gonna attempt on the names. Okay, so this is a really cute terracotta pot. It's simple, it's basic, it's designed by Ilsa Crawford. You might know Ilsa Crawford for being a super, just a overall fabulous woman, but also she's a great designer and she's also one that has designed some things in Ikea's collections before. She's done a lot of different pots and jars and things. The most famous one is this green one that I've talked about several times on the channel. I forget the name of it now that I think about it. But anyway, she also designed this one. She did like a whole bunch of different pots. This is a really cute outdoor pot and it's terracotta. It's a really good price point, which I love. Terracotta is an absolute gorgeous, timeless material. Now for some people it might not be their style, right? It reads a little bit orangey ready for some people. It's kind of like almost like color of brick. Some people might not like that. I think it's cool. I think it's a really gorgeous color and it's a, it's, a, it's a timeless material that's been around for many, many, many years and therefore isn't going anywhere. It's just overall fabulous. To me, this is a much better find and a much better pick than going with a terracotta colored plastic pot, which I'm not a fan of personally because I just think plastic pots, although they have their uses because they're light and whatever, they're not for me. I prefer the terracotta myself. I just think it's a nicer, more timeless material. So this is a really great find. You got like great material, great price point, Point. Very simple, basic shape. What else do you need? Okay, next up is the Chillivips. Oh gosh, they're really killing me today. The, ch the ch ch Chillivips. Okay, what is this one? This is a cute basket. This one is made of jute, which you all know is a natural material I like. I still love when someone commented, like probably about two years ago now, that there's a drinking game for every time I say the word jute, you have to take a drink. I love that. Jute, 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 drink up people. I, I would love a drinking game. I should start every video with a drinking game and then just like work my way through and you guys can just like have a, you know, every single video can have a new drinking game. That'd be fun. Anyway, the Chillivips. This one is made of jute. It's a basket. It's a cute little cute basket. This is a basket that fits a lot of Ikea's systems. So this would fit in something like the Calax unit or like whatever. Like it's kind of a pretty standard thing that they sort of, they like to make their little components fit with their larger systems. They're like Apple that way. They want, they don't just want you to buy one thing 
thing. They want you to buy a whole ecosystem. So you buy into the Chilovix ecosystem and then now all of a sudden you buy everything from Ikea. I will say about this basket though, that like it's pretty structured and therefore is good for organization. It's not really your like slouchy basket. This is a little bit more of a structured one. Great for organization. To me, it's better than a lot of the plastic ones. Nothing necessarily wrong. Like plastic is a rigid material, but it's it doesn't read as incredibly nice. So like aesthetically beautiful, but it is a, you know, plastic is very a rigid material and therefore might make sense for organizing, you know, things in your office, for example. But this one is also quite natural and beautiful at the same time. So I think it's nice to see a structured basket in an, you know, timeless natural material, jute, drink up again. I like this one. I think it's cute. And it works with all the other, you know, systems that Ikea comes out with all the time. Okay, next up is the Beck Vam. This one is made of solid Aspen. So I did a video a while ago where I talked about all of Ikea solid wood items, which was, I think, a lot of people like that video because sometimes it's hard with Ikea, right? Like to figure out what's veneered, what's solid wood, what's birch, what's aspen, what's oak, what's walnut, what's pine, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of hard to always figure it out. So feel free to check out that video. But this one, is it just a cute little shelf? It's a cute little shelf and organization little uh, unit here that you have. I don't think it's really cute. I like the material that they use when they use beech or birch or all those different things. Because I just think the really light creamy wood is just really able to fit into a lot of people's styles, right? Especially if you have sort of a white or neutral or lighter space. I think it's a lot easier to sort of fit into those styles. A lot of the pine stuff can tend to be read a little bit more yellow and they're for could be messing with the colors in the rest of your palette. So this is fairly neutral and therefore really easy to recommend to people because it can kind of fit into all areas of the home. It doesn't really matter really. It's, it's your style, you know, whatever your palette, whatever your style, like it's going to fit somewhere. This is $6.99. It's a cute little shelf. Now Ikea calls it a spice rack. Sure, it's a spice rack. If you were to put it in a kid's room and put your little, their little paints or whatever on there, you know, I don't know what kids need, but they probably need stuff like that. Like if you want to do that, and pff, I'm not going to stop you. And I don't think Ikea will either. You know what I mean? Like if it's in an office and you want to put post-its, you know, office-y things, if you want to do that, maybe little paper clips, you just have fun there. A little, little plastic thing with your pens in it, you know, make it your own. It says it's a spice rack, but let's be honest, this can be used for a bunch of different things. Okay, next up is gonna be the Tessimans. Now I featured this in a video. I don't remember all of my videos, to be honest. I just say a lot of things and um, put them out on the internet. I can't remember what I say in half these videos, but that video, I feel like I talked about this in a video before. The Tessimans, it's kind of that like Gen Z, like color palette thing that I talked about, or I did a video talking about the Gen Zs. And the Tessimans is this amber glass and sort of this indigo glass. It's part of a whole collection that Ikea has going on. On right now, which varying degrees of success in my opinion, but this one is cute. This one is plain glass cups, but they're in funky colors. And that's kind of cool because Ikea doesn't usually take a ton of risk with its glass. It usually just sticks to plain white. I think the Fraser or something or whatever is a really cool like cocktail glass, which I think is like super cheap and is like really, really nice. And it's not on this list, but well, I'll throw it up here anyway. So I guess it kind of is. That one's really cool. Like I featured that one before and I quite like it. But this one is interesting because, you know, it might not be textured like that other glass, but what it does have is interesting colors. And again, most of Ikea's glassware is usually like super super basic. It doesn't break as easily as it used to. I swear 20 years ago, like you could look at that glass and it would just shatter. You know what I mean? Like you would just flick it and it would just explode. So Ikea has done something with their glass where they've decided to make it good. I don't know what they did, but they decided to make it better, which is good. That's what we like to see. And so I would say this quality is probably better than what you had 20 years ago, but also uh, an interesting color, which is unique for Ikea because normally their glass is well, glass. Okay, next up here is the Rort. I will say I have bought this, I, this is an item I have bought so many times because where else is everybody buying their wooden spoons? I would say dollar store or Amazon. I don't buy them from there really. I buy them from Ikea. Just because when I'm passing through, I'm like, yeah, throw a couple in the cart. You know what I mean? This is, it's a wooden spoon. I will say, I don't know why I like it. There's a lot of really flimsy wooden spoons out there where the handle's like really skinny. And I find that really irritating. So I feel like I'm gonna break it. Like if you're like in a, doing a chili or something or a bolognese, you know what I mean? And you want something really sturdy. And I think that the Ikea one is quite sturdy. So I quite like their wooden spoons. As much as one could like, as much as one can like a wooden spoon, to be honest. I like these ones. I think they're cool. They're super cheap. Again, I chuck them in the cart. They last a while. I think I just bought like one the other day one or two and I probably the last time bought a wooden spoon before that like three years ago so like maybe more like these tend to last a really long time they just kind of maybe get a little bit gross but that's 
you know, neither here nor there. So I think that, um, yeah, if you don't have a wooden spoon, I don't know what's wrong with you. If you have one that's 25 years old and it's basically got ground beef that you had about 20 years ago on there, maybe it might be time to refresh. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it isn't. Maybe that's that's not how bacteria works, but you might want to refresh the old uh, the old crock and get some new wooden spoons. And I would say Ikea's is a pretty solid option for like whatever they are, like two bucks or something. Okay, next up is the Blaswerk. The Blaswerk is a fairly like, it's this is, feels very retro. It's a little bit part of sort of one of their sort of newer collections, I feel like, part of their new sort of spin of having a little bit of fun and changing up some of their stuff, bringing a lot of retro designs back again, or at least whether they were actually re-releases of retro designs, which they have done, or they've just like released something that just sort of feels a little bit retro. And that's what this one does for me. This one comes in a bunch of different kind of cool colors, which is neat, but I think this is really cool. It's a really great price point for a really great lamp that looks kind of chic because Ikea is definitely up their lamp game, kind of like they up their glass, kind of like they up their throws. Some of their other stuff, not still not sold on, but like for this, I think the uh, they did a pretty good job with this one. Now, what is this one made of? Okay, it's plastic. The tube is aluminum. I feel like I knew that. I feel like I knew that it was plastic and not aluminum, which in my head, ideally, I would love for it to be all metal. That's probably asking too much at the $17.99 price point, but you know, it's yellow, it's blue. I think this is really funky, probably good for a teenager's room, kid's room, or if you're one of these sort of people designing one of these funky colored postmodern spaces, then I think you'd probably really enjoy this one as well. If you're someone who is like me and prefers more like ceramics and woods and stones and things, this one's probably not gonna fit your vibe, but if you're, you know, have a different style than me, totally fine, not everybody's perfect, then go for it. Then like, I would say this could be a good fit. Okay, then the last one, and they are really having, they're really having fun with this one. This is the Fertio Fire. The Fertiofira, come on. This is a cute little lamp. This is $13.99. So again, the point of this video is under 20 bucks, okay? I like this lamp. I think it's cool. It's kind of got this little like sleek little dish here going on, this little interesting shape. It's a cute little um, pendant and I think it would make sense over a dining table. This is really a great price point for this, right? If you're in the light game and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money and you need something that's going to go over top that's a little bit more sleek and cool than whatever, you know, you inherited from I don't know what the landlord gave you or whatever, then you're sitting here and you're like, ah, I don't have a huge budget, 14 bucks. It's gonna be an instant upgrade, right? So 14 bucks is a really great price point for this one. I think it's a really cool shape. Listen, if I were doing a full renovation, I'd be like, look, your plan is you're spending like $80,000 on a renovation or something. Would I skimp out on a $14 lamp? No, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I would say, okay, let's just allocate a little bit more budget to lighting. But if you want an instant refresh and you got $15 in your pocket, I mean, this is a pretty, good lamp for a pretty good price point in my opinion. I think this one's super cute. Okay and before I go thanks again to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. I had a lot of fun with this one so feel free to check it out and click on the link in the description or you can use the QR code on your screen now. Okay so that's it for me for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm gonna link to a video that I did a couple of years back where I did something similar where I talked about other IKEA items around 20 bucks. So if you like this one I think you'll like that one as well. Some of them might be discontinued but you never know. Again I don't remember what I put in the video so you'll have to find out for yourself. Click there and you will find out what's just continued and what's still available. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.